Uh, uh, before you guys ask me about some numbers, there's some, you know, we're getting ready for the Steelers, so there's some jersey numbers out there. So JC Horn was like, why is someone else in my number? So I explained to him Melvin Ingram plays for the Steelers, so nothing behind all that. Ricci, that would be a guy you look at more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I did that just to change the way the offensive staff looks at him. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. You think he could be a He's done a good job so far. Yeah. He's had a, we talk about guys playing well on special teams. When you play on well on special teams, you have to find a role for guys. And so we really like our tight end room. We've been searching for a fullback. You know, we'll, we'll continue to look for other guys. But uh, Gio has a chance to help us. So, you know, I'm anxious to actually go up and watch this tape, you know, see what he looks like. But uh, talk about a guy that's really developed. I mean, the strength staff's done a nice job with him. He's done a nice job over the course of a year. So, um, and hopefully, I'm hopeful that, it, you know, it helps him make the team. You guys decided to uh, extend Robbie today. Uh, talk about why you guys decided to do that. Um, you know, um, that's official. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so uh, uh, that's something that uh, Samir and them have been working on for a while with Robbie and his team, and uh, just um, you know, just an opportunity for us. You know, we think Robbie's an uh, outstanding player, had a thousand yard season, doing things the right way, and um, chance for us just to lock him up for several years and, and um, um, you know, uh, excited for that opportunity. You know, I think he's going to be a vital part of our offense. We saw him, he's done it all there, but make pretty spectacular catches out there even in practice today. Um, how much with, with Sam and the connection they have is part of why you want to Robbie back? Um, I, don't, I don't think I have much. In fact, I think if anything in this camp, Sam's really developed a connection with uh, DJ and uh, 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 really um, Dan. And so really – trying to get Robbie a little bit more involved. And, you know, he's, you know, Robbie's had obviously two days last week with the hamstring and came out in the game and caught the ball. But um, uh, I just think Robbie's, you know, Robbie's an explosive player. You know, we, we have obviously Christian, we have DJ, we have Robbie. We have some pretty explosive guys and then some young players behind them. And then obviously you've seen the tight ends have been more featured. So to me, it's just a, you know, total team effort for all of us. Matt, with picking up DJ's option and then you draft Harris, was there ever a consideration to, okay, no, there's been enough allocated toward this position now or was Robbie just kind of a different set of math um, for that? Yeah, I, I, I probably don't, I don't, I don't have much to say numbers wise, you know, um, I don't mean that disrespectfully, just I think, um, you know, we, uh, the salary cap's going to go up next year, you know, this was a unique year, it's going to go up again the next year after that and um, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to sign some of our own, you know, so whether it was Taylor or him and, you know, there hopefully many more of these guys, we like our team. Was there anything he did last year that surprised you? Uh, I think, you know, I, I think the fact they played all 17 games, I mean, 16 games, excuse me, the fact that he was so durable, you know, uh, I think he was the only receiver we had, you know, start, starting receiver, you know, Curtis was out for a game, DJ was out for a game, but Robbie to be so durable, you know, have 100 catches or 99 catches and still be durable throughout the entire year. And then, you know, he'd been known as a deep play threat. You know, I know when we signed him, some people kind of said, hey, well, you know, he's all, that's all he is is a deep ball guy, but he made most of his money last year. You know, across the middle, shallow crosses, catch and run type plays, and so um, to be you know 170 pounds and 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 catch the ball, work the middle of the field the way he did. Um, you know, really if you look at the deep balls, uh, those those were mainly DJ last year. Robbie was more of a shallow to intermediate threat. So hopefully, um, you know, Sam's got a big arm. We can take advantage of the whole field with uh, Robbie and continue to, to develop Robbie's game. How's he different than when you had him at Temple? Just older. They're all they all all the guys I've had there. Older, more mature, more developed. Um, but he's, Robbie's always been a really good person, and so he's just, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a good person. On more of a personal level, obviously you coached him in college as well. Is it kind of, you know, nice to see, you know, everything that Robbie went through in college and all that, and to see him, you know, he just got a big contract in the NFL. Is that at all sort of for you? Um, yes and no, and I'll say that because um, – even the guys that I coached last year that are no longer here, I coached them. You know, I consider anybody who's played for me, you know, one of my guys. And so, um, you know, we, we do a good job here, I think, last year, and we'll start here as we cut to the 53, of having guys get up and tell us about their lives, tell us about their stories. Um, when you're the head coach, you only really get involved in, with players when there's something's wrong, to be quite honest, right? And so I'm the guy that, you know, like, you know, when the guy has to miss practice because he has something going on in his life or he has a death in the family or he's got something with his kids. Like, I'm the one who – involves with that. So when I see guys have success, you know, I know the pressures, I know the, uh, the responsibilities that so many of our guys have, and um, um, we have a bunch of really good men on this team. So anytime I see someone have success, I'm happy. You know, there's a lot of guys that I coached in college playing in the NFL. You know, we talk a lot about the guys here, but I, I turn on pretty much most games and I see guys that I coach playing, 
And so obviously I'm happy for them. But I'm also happy when Taylor signs a long-term deal or, you know, any of our guys, you know, make the 53. I'm, I'm happy for all of them. Matt, we ask you about this guy a lot, but you didn't see Denzel out there. Yeah. Did he have a step back? Yeah, well, he got stepped on yesterday. So he had a new injury yesterday, unfortunately, for him. I mean, it's just been, you know, a guy worked hard to come back from the hip flexor and was moving around and then just got stepped on yesterday. So just kind of a freak deal. He's running the ball hard, got stepped on. So we're hoping it's not real long. Um, but uh, just being careful with him. Is he still in the plans? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we signed Denzel for a reason, so um, we, we know he's a good player. You know, injuries are injuries, you know. I mean, he's, he's as, as I've told guys, like, you can't control what happens to you. I, I just, I'm concerned with how you react to it. So as long as you're, as long as you're working hard to get back, as long as you're taking notes, and um, I mean, Denzel and I are on the same page on that. Was he pretty much back from the hip, though, now? It's just Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was, he was good to go yesterday. He was practicing, and. Uh, just, uh, just kind of a freak play down the field. He's running the ball, and uh, one of the big guys stepped on his foot and just, you know, up out from under him. So, um, how long that is, I, I really don't know, to be honest with you. And he wasn't playing with the first team defense yesterday. Is that something you're working him back in, or is it because of what Jermaine's done? No, Jermaine's, a, Jermaine's a, our starting mic. There's no, you know, I mean, he's our starting mic. Now we'd like to have, we'd like to play with a lot of guys, but I think Jermaine Carter is one of our unsung. I mean, I think he's one of our best defensive players all around. I mean, I think he's an outstanding player who also does everything right. So that's no shot. I mean, we, we, we have all these different packages today. We had, you know, a new package can win. So we, we want to have multiple starters. Um, so there's, I think we have a good plan for Denzel. If he gets healthy, when, you know, I shouldn't say if, when he gets healthy, um, you know, if he gets healthy for this game, we'd have a good plan for him to play in the Steelers game. But, uh, but, but Jermaine's a starter for us. Hey, we'll, do, we'll do a couple more questions and then we'll get... Yeah, I think a lot of, you know, a lot of guys like this is their last opportunity to show what they can do. You know, we see a lot of what guys can do um, in practice, and that's really important to us. We think practice prepares you for the game, but you also have to go deliver, you know, on game day. And a lot of it for a lot of guys is special teams, you know, like, um, you know, you run down, you make a big hit, you make a big tackle, you, you, you do something impressive. I mean, I, I, point to, I point out to the guys on special teams and defense, just do what Frankie Louvu does, run down and punch at the ball and get it out. And all of a sudden you'll find your, um, your roster spot growing. So um, it's not, you know, the only thing because they've had a lot, long body of work, but it's really their last chance to say, hey, this is what I can do. And um, so I'm excited to see our, our ones go out there and play, but I'm also excited to see, you know, those, those down the line guys that are fighting for a spot, give, give them another chance. No, he won't play on Friday. Um, you know, our, our plan is to have him hopefully full go next week or the week, you know, the week after. But um, I wish he should be back for the Jets. So, but he won't play this week. Is Keith totally cleared now? Kirkwood. Uh, yeah, he's he's full go today.